So we're going to start a new lesson. It's about the coordination. So here under the uh, human physiology of IGC IGCSC biology, we have this coordination lesson. Right. To understand the coordination, we first focus on uh, this picture. So if we look at this picture, what we can see, we can see an elephant and also we can see a man is running in front of the elephant. So this picture explains uh, elephant is chasing the man. Right? Okay, if this elephant is chasing the man, so how this happened and what is the relationship to the coordination? It's like this. If we define the term ability to connect different activities of the body at the right time. So this explains the meaning of coordination. Ability to connect different activities of the body. If we look this person, what are the different activities? We can see the man is running, which is one activity. But rest of the activities we can't see. Only we can see the man is running faster. If the man wants to run faster, he needs more energy. If he needs more energy, he has to take more oxygen. And oxygen should be delivered to the muscles. Muscles need more nutrients. Then the glucose should be delivered to the muscles. For that, the man need to respire fast. So his respiratory rate increase, heart rate increase. These two things we can't see, but it's again different activities. So what are the activities? Running, increase heart rate, increase respiratory rate. So we listed here three activities. But all the activities happening at the same time. Then we can say ability to connect different activities of the body at right time. Respiratory rate increase to deliver oxygen, heart rate increase to deliver blood, and uh, clearance of carbon dioxide, delivery of oxygen, and delivery of nutrients. So all important for the muscle contraction. Then this man can run. So then we can understand coordination is the ability to connect different activities of the body at right time. So what is the right time? The right time is to escape from this elephant, the man has to run faster. That is the right time. If the respiratory rate not increase, heart rate not increase and the man still wants to run, then there is not enough oxygen, not enough glucose. Then the man cannot run faster. So it is not the coordination because different activities of the body not connected at right time. Now we can see the elephant as the change of the external environment. So which is called a stimulus. Change of the external environment is called a stimulus. In this case, elephant is the stimulus. Then the stimulus is detected by the man. The receptor located in the body is called eye. Eye is the receptor. So I can uh, detect the stimulus. After that, the signal sent to the brain for the identification. The brain identify this as a stimulus. Elephant is the stimulus detected by the receptor, send the signal to the brain for identification. 
Your brain identify the situation, elephant, and it's a dangerous situation. And the brain react to the dangerous situation, start man, the man start to run. So what are the components now? One by one stimulus, number two receptor, number three brain, and brain communicate with the muscles, muscles are effectors. Final, we can see the response, response is running, the man is running, this is the response. Okay, again the four components, stimulus, receptors, effectors response so if you look uh, if stimulus and receptors and to the effectors this is coordinated by the brain so brain coordinate from stimulus to the response brain coordinates from number one stimulus to the number four response So here we can see it again, stimulus to the response, brain coordinates. So now we can define brain come under the nervous system. So nervous system use nerve impulse, tiny electrical current from uh, detection of the stimulus by the receptors and send signal to the nervous system and send signal to the muscles so this coordination is done by this tiny electrical current which is called nerve impulses